He is the Flying Dutchman, one of the best strikers to have ever played in the English Premier League. Robin Van Persie might have retired four years ago, but his lifestyle is crazier than the goals he scored, and this has gotten many fans talking. From his family and illustrious career, to his relationships, flashy properties, and net worth, this is Robin Van Persie's lifestyle. Robin Van Persie was born on August 6, 1983 in Rotterdam, Netherlands, as the last of three children with two elder sisters before him. His mother, Jose Ross Van Persie, is a painter and jewelry designer, who teaches special needs children while his father, Bob Van Persie, is a sculptor. Growing up in an artistic family kind of suggested that little Van Persie would follow a similar route, but he was different. His parents split when he was a little kid, and he had to live only with his father afterwards. Bob was a die-hard Arsenal fan, which made Van Persie fall in love with the club at a tender age. Although the Dutchman went to school as a child, he often got into trouble with the teachers and his peers. As a result, it was only a matter of time before the focus shifted from education to football. Van Persie had started his youth football career at local side SBV Excelsior when he was five years old. He continued to develop at the club until 1999 when he joined Feyenoord at the age of 16 after falling out with the Excelsior coaching staff over his lack of discipline. Fortunately for the Dutch footballer, Feyenoord was hit with an injury crisis and he quickly made his way into the first team at 17. Van Persie spent three full seasons with the Feyenoord senior side from 2001 to 2004 but his disciplinary problems overshadowed the talent that he had. After a series of clashes with his manager, he was demoted and the club looked to get rid of him. Arsene Wenger's Arsenal were interested in the Dutchman because they were looking for a long-term replacement for the aging veteran Dennis Bergkamp. Van Persie penned a four-year deal with Arsenal for £2.75 million pounds in May 2004 and won the FA Cup in his first season. The left winger slowly grew into the squad, having to deal with injuries frequently. After Thierry Henry left the club in June 2007, Van Persie became Arsenal's main man at the front. Just like he had successfully done with star Thierry Henry, Arsene Wenger converted Van Persie from a left winger to a central forward. The move paid off as the Dutchman went on to win consecutive Premier League Golden Boots, becoming one of the best forwards in the league, scoring impossible goals, showing effective set-piece taking, and exceptional ball control. In his last four seasons with Arsenal, Van Persie scored 89 goals and a total of 132 goals in 278 appearances over eight seasons long. Having chosen not to renew his contract with the club, he left Arsenal for Manchester United for an initial £22.5 million and spent the next three seasons with the Red Devils, finally winning the Premier League title in his first season. Having seen his magical abilities slowly decline, Van Persie joined Turkish side Fenerbahce on a three-year deal for a fee close to £4 million, occasionally reminding everyone of his talent in his three seasons with the club. In January 2018, the Flying Dutchman cancelled his contract with the club and returned to Feyenoord where he scored his 300th career goal and subsequently retired in May 2019. On the international stage, Van Persie made his debut for the Netherlands in 2005 and went on to become their highest goal scorer with 50 goals in 102 appearances, playing an important role in their FIFA World Cup runner-up finish in 2010 and third place finish in 2014. Van Persie is also the highest goal-scoring Dutch player in the Premier League with 144 goals. After retiring, he dabbled into punditry for a while and later became an assistant coach at Feyenoord. In 2021, he assumed a supporting role as a field coach and also became the co-head coach at the club's under-16 team. But outside of football, what does life look like for Van Persie? Van Persie is married to Bushra, a Moroccan. The couple got married in 2004 in a private wedding ceremony when both of them were 20 years old. Bustra is an avid equestrian, model, and a great singer as well. After overcoming a rocky start to their marriage that saw the footballer being accused of rape, their love blossomed and they have remained together after almost two decades. Van Persie and Bushra have two children together. A son, Shaquille, was born in 2006, and a daughter, Dina, born in 2009. When asked if he will convert to being a Muslim because of his wife, Robin Van Persie insisted that he was a liberal and not a religious person. When away from his family, Van Persie spends his time on football-related activities at the youth level, but it's a different story at home. Van Persie is probably the truest definition of a family man. You'll often see him spending time playing football with his son, horse riding with his kids, still going on dates with his wife, and all the family stuff you can think of. The former Arsenal captain loves to spend time with his loved ones at exotic destinations, trying out new activities or cuisines. Van Persie still keeps fit at the gym. Judging from his extravagant lifestyle, you can be certain that the Dutchman has an expensive taste for luxury. During his time with the Gunners, Van Persie had a 4,500 square foot Goffs Oak mansion in the UK. The property had five ensuite bathrooms, a state-of-the-art kitchen, 
fitted with underfloor heating and also a kid's AstroTurf football pitch. After leaving England, the Dutchman sold the five-bedroom detached house for about $1.3 million. In 2021, Robin Van Persie bought a spacious villa in Rotterdam, in the chic district of Hillergersburg. It was the luxurious home of a wealthy businessman and Feyenoord supporter, Michel Peridon. The property was said to have cost Van Persie a total of 6.5 million euros. Moving over to his garage, we notice that the former Arsenal man loves Porsche cars. He has a Porsche Cayenne Tech R Magnum powered by a 3.6 liter V6 engine that produces 300 horsepower and can reach a top speed of 176 miles per hour. He also owns a Porsche Panamera worth around $100,000. Apart from Porsche, Van Persie is the proud owner of several other luxury cars, such as the Ferrari California, Nissan Figaro, BMW X5, and a 2014 Audi A5 Sportback. Perhaps the only off-roader SUV in Van Persie's garage is the Land Rover Range Rover Sport. We can estimate the Dutch International's garage to be close to half a million dollars, but it's no surprise really considering his net worth. During his heyday, Van Persie was one of the highest paid players in Premier League history. His weekly salary at Manchester United was around £235,000, while it was at about £140,000 at Fenerbahce. We don't really know how much he earns as a youth coach or football analyst, but it'll certainly pale in comparison to what he earned as a player. Having said that, Robin Van Persie has some businesses outside of football. Back in 2014, he invested £3.2 million in the company called Grabio. It is a premium video editing and publishing platform meant for social media, and the company's welcomed investments from former players such as Cesc Fabregas and Thierry Henry. The 40-year-old was sponsored by Adidas throughout his playing career. Putting it all together, we can estimate Van Persie's net worth to be around $36 million. As you would expect, he is big on charity. In 2014, Van Persie and his wife Bushra pledged to support a charity project named SOS Children. It is said to be the largest orphan charity in the world. The couple has also helped to organize fundraising events in London to help treat people with HIV and AIDS. He also participates in charity football matches to help the less privileged. When Robin Van Persie was accused of rape back in 2005, he actually ended up spending 14 days in jail before trial. Fashion model Sandra Kriegsman had claimed that the football legend harassed her and raped her in a hotel room. The incident took place in Rotterdam at the Tulip Inn, just 200 yards from where his wife Boudreau was sleeping. The Dutch authorities would end up dropping the case after they deemed that the sexual relation was consensual. His wife considered leaving the marriage at that time. Speaking of his wife, she also faced some criticism, with many Gunners fans believing that she played a role in his refusal to commit to the club after 2012. They called Bouchra and her husband gold diggers, 